Hi you guys, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I'm going to post up a quick rant. I am going to do another reading on this book that we're reading, Poison Power. I just started it by John Goffman. But uh, I feel a sense of urgency after watching Chris Busby's video and everybody saying, Oh, thank you, Chris Busby, Dr. Chris Busby, for t explaining to us what went on in Fukushima. I laughed out loud when I saw Dr. Chris Busby say, They should have been prepared. They should have had way more pumps. How many pumps do you need to be prepared for a fucking typhoon dude a hundred thousand pumps that's what it probably would have taken and why should they do that why would they want to be prepared for it they were waiting for it they need an excuse for all the, for the fucking thing to fall apart so that they can just start digging in even deeper in people's pocketbooks the nuclear cartel has no interest in human life or they have opted for ecocide that's what this book said. That's what every book that John Goffman, Linus Pauling, Arthur Tamplin wrote said. If we don't stop this, we're headed for ecocide. That was 40 years ago, and we're headed for ecocide. And now people are going, well, 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 we're headed for ecocide. Look, I don't know what it's going to take. I have no idea what it's going to take. I'm just a single woman here in the United States beginning to pay attention to this. I am dumbfounded. There have been anti-nuke activists for 40 years who have stayed in this, quote, industry and done not jack shit. They have failed 100%. Part of the reason I like Kevin was he was willing to say that. You stupid motherfucking peace activists have failed. We don't have peace and we have nuclear wars everywhere. In fact, our planet is in a state of war. The United States now has the number one mortality rate of all nations. The number one mortality rate. Children have a um, higher mortality rate in the United States, the so-called greatest nation on earth, the so-called best medicine on earth. We're being used as assets on a balance sheet, and people are just like, hmm, that's interesting. People are getting kicked out of their homes for no reason on trumped-up mortgages. And hmm, that's interesting. Radioactivity is falling on all of us, and we are not doing jack shit about it. Now, I've had people say, well, voting doesn't matter. Protests don't matter. Well, what the fuck matters? What matters? What is it that's going to take to make people say, I love my life. I love living on planet Earth. I love our trees. I love the birds. I love the animals. And we're going to stop the machines. We are going to stop the Caligulas who are running the machines. It's only 500 fucking people. Max who are running the fucking planet, and we're just letting them destroy everything. Why are we doing that? I'm dumbfounded, and I'm dumbfounded by guys like Chris Busby who say, hmm, they should have been prepared. They should have had more pumps. Really, Dr. Busby? More pumps. That's your fucking answer. Really? Uh, it's just stunning. That's not an answer, pal. Not only should they not have had more pumps, they should have, the whole world's government should have had that fucking thing buried three fucking years ago. So it's not enough to just put contaminated tanks. They were waiting for this to happen. They wanted it to happen. You think they didn't open up every, they loosened the, the handles on every single one of those fucking tanks so that they can have an excuse? Come on! Our, our entire world is being destroyed by the technologists on this planet who tell us, oh yeah, there's no more radiation coming out of Fukushima than uh, an apple or a banana. You know what, I'm going to end here. Someone's calling me on my Skype. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.